How's it going? It's a daily shooter and I wanted to make this video while my emotions were still fresh. I actually just got home from the gun shop a few minutes ago. You know, very recently President Obama had something absolutely moronic, idiotic, outright stupid and uneducated to say about guns in the United States. He said that it's easier to get a gun than it is to get a book. So out of the President of the United States mouth, he said it's easier to get guns than it is books. Well, guess what, Mr. President? I haven't even had a speeding ticket or any type of traffic ticket in like 15 years, okay? I'm only 40 years old, so that's a pretty large portion of my life that I haven't been in any kind of trouble, not even a traffic ticket, okay? So I would be considered, I would think, an upstanding citizen. I pay my taxes. I never get into any kind of trouble. As a matter of fact, I hold a CDL for a pressurized tank, which means I have thumbprints, fingerprints, DNA samples, everything you could imagine on file with the federal government just so I could drive that pressurized tanker truck. Okay, so I've been through it all. I had to do uh, background checks through uh, Homeland Security to get the licenses that I have, to carry the things that I do, the hazardous materials, etc. I would consider myself somebody who's pretty upstanding, I would think, in my community. Well, guess what? If it's so easy to get a gun uh, versus a book, how is it that I just went to my gun shop and couldn't get a pistol that I was looking at? Okay, I was looking at a Glock 19. I have my license. I have what's considered a handgun safety certificate that I had to get here in the state of California. I was willing to go through the registration process. I was willing to go through everything that it takes, 10 day waiting period, background checks, you name it, in order to get this pistol. And I walked into my gun shop with my paperwork and I put it on the counter and I had to leave with nothing. Why did I have to leave with nothing? Because guess what? I'm renting a place right now where the utilities, the phone line, the bills, we actually don't have a, ha a, a line, but the utilities like the trash and the electric and the water, everything is run through the landlord. So my name isn't physically on any of that stuff. And my car registration is still with my last address, okay? I haven't changed that since I moved here. I have to do that before the registration is up. So basically what I'm saying is I have all this information, bank information. I have my driver's license. I even brought a printout of my driving record, which has the state seal on it, my name, all my information on it, height, weight, you name it, my CDLs, everything on it. I brought stapled pieces of paperwork plus my ID and everything else. And I was turned away because I didn't have a document that's proof that I live where I say that I live, even though I had all this paperwork from the government. So if it's so easy to get a damn gun in this country, how come I, somebody who, like I said, I would consider a stand-up citizen, went all the way down to the damn gun shop, spent my whole time there, did everything that I could, I was going to do everything the right way, and I have to leave empty-handed. Do you think it's that hard if I want to go to Walmart right now and spend a dollar ninety-nine on a cheap book, walk up to the counter, scan it out myself, I don't even need the help with that, feed my money into the machine, and then walk home? Which one of those do you think is easier? Walking in with several government documents, background checks, and everything else that I have to do, registration, blah, 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 or walk into Walmart and buy a book for $1.99. The gun that I was looking at is $515. Plus, I got to pay for the dealer record of sale, my gross fees. Plus, I got to pay that enormous California tax, which is almost 10%. So I have to do all of this just to get a gun, but I can walk into Walmart and spend $1.99 on a cheap-ass book and walk out the same day. I don't have shit right now. Now, I doubt you would ever watch this, but if you are watching this, know that somebody like me, who has never been in trouble, ever, had to walk out empty-handed. That's what happened. I couldn't get my gun. I couldn't get my pistol. And I was told, sorry, we can't help you. So I wasn't able to exercise my Second Amendment rights over one missing piece of paper when I had so much documentation. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So before you open your stupid mouth and say another stupid thing like that, maybe you should think about it first or do a little bit of research before spewing all this mis misinformation. Because it's not that easy. It's not right that a citizen of the United States should be turned away from purchasing a gun for stupid reasons. I wouldn't ever get turned away from buying a book. Anyway, that was a dumb, dumb statement. Thank you guys very much for watching. 
Thank you for putting up with my rant. Please like, subscribe, and have a great day.